Hi, so I'm a little bit disappointed in myself in this one, right? I get an email, a few, or a message on one of my uh, videos saying he sent an email a long time ago and he's still waiting for a response. And uh, of course, you know, what's it all about? You know, some emails jump to spam folders. Okay, uh, this one didn't. So he resent it to me and uh, he's, he did just the original email. And I somewhat remember it, but I did put it on like on the on the back burner, but I looked at it and like, oh, come on, this is, this is a little bit, little easier there's no trucks there's no you know again not just because there's no trucks in the picture doesn't mean that there's never trucks there now uh, and i looked at it and like ah oh, come on you this is easy you can you can set up over here you know you got a nice white space isn't like i i may not even do it i should have replied back to him but i i didn't but uh uh so let's just Let's take a look at it. There's probably a reason why he's asking me right now, again, after uh, 11 months. Uh, so I took a look at it. I go to Google Maps and take a look. Now, so now that I've actually taken a look at it, all right, now, when you measure the distance from basically the very edge to here, it's only 120 feet, all right? That's not a lot because uh, a full-length truck and trailer is roughly around 70, 75 feet, 70, 70 75 feet. But that doesn't leave a lot of room, especially if there's a vehicle right in front, right? So that only that only that only leaves you around forty five feet uh, when you are if you are pack, parking next to it. So let's go ahead and uh, add this to the game and see how well I do. First of all, I'm going to add my trusty Logitech G29 steering wheel. Uh, loving it, by the way. Let a little finicky on the uh, when you are calibrating it in my game. So you know, there's a video on that. But anyway, so starting off, let's get ourselves nice and close to the left and see what kind of room we have to play with. Now, I'm going to dip into the left here and make sure my axles aren't going to hit the curb. And I'm presuming this is just a curb and not a wall. That's just a presumption. I can't really actually see what is going on perfectly. But... Uh, and now if we were to do this without hitting uh, the, any curb whatsoever, like we'd have to stop roughly around here. Obviously, there's some people who have been dipping into this little area here. Okay. And they've been dipping in over here. Uh, we're not going to do that yet. All right. Start backing up. Not a lot of room. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that there's a little bit of room over here on the left. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my truck in there now. That allows me to uh, at least have a better angle to try back it in there. Okay. Start reversing. Oh, without hitting the curb. Now, it's not very easy. There is a lot less room than I thought by looking at, at this picture initially. All right. And I feel kind of stupid that I didn't, I wasn't able to do that. Now, the axles could be further forward. All right, so I got to stop right here. Now, right now, the axles are at the 40 foot mark. Anybody who doesn't understand that, basically from the kingpin to the center of the rear axle is 40 feet. That's kind of like the gun, kind of kind of like a safe area. All right, you're never going to get in trouble. Well, I wouldn't say you're never going to get in trouble, but you won't get in trouble if you go to California. Um, so I mean, I'm in there. I'm getting there. Now, I, the reason why I'm, even though I look screwed up, Okay, it's still not the worst. I'm back there and that gives me a lot more room to play with. All right, so now I can go off to the left and oh, maybe straighten up again here now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the way off, over here. That gives me myself a little bit more room to play with. All right, now I am pointing towards the dock. I don't wanna be pointing towards the dock, all right? Uh, because that's not, especially if I'm gonna go for the, for the middle dock. All right, so you, we gotta get ourselves pointing, whoopsie daisy. We gotta get ourselves pointing a little bit more to the left first. And then to get ourselves parallel, we're gonna to have to do a lot more turning. I may not get it. Uh, chase. But anyway, you, you, you get the gist of it, all right? Now, so, now, if you are going to this place, okay? And they're, you're unlucky enough to get into one of these spaces here, or they, they ask you, you know, ask them if you can go into one of these spaces instead. All right, and when they say no, well, when they say when, maybe they do. Okay, now, but if you, whoopsie dizzy. <laughs> if we do have to go into one of these spaces over here, well, actually, let's go ahead and, uh, now I'm sorry that you guys aren't able to do, do this in the game, only I can do it. I'm, all, I'm the only person who can really actually switch the position of the axles. Uh, in the game, the, the axles will be forward. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
switch them now. Now they're only a little bit for, further ahead, just a little bit, but it makes a difference. All right, I'm gonna actually approach it from a different angle. I'm gonna, that way my truck is into the space a little bit more. All right, we're gonna make sure our axles, we're keep looking to the left. Sorry, when I say that, uh, a lot of people, when they actually start turning to the right, they only focus on the right, but you're, ang you're still angled to the left. So keep, keep an eye on the left, okay? We're gonna make sure our tires are not gonna jump the curb. So we're gonna, we don't, I don't really care about the swing of the trailer because that's probably just a, a nice short curb because there's grass here. And if, sorry if there is, that's, but that's, that's gonna, oops, I wanna keep hugging to the left. All right, and let's go off to the right now. Hugging, and then we're gonna finish off in this little dirt area that other people have seemed to made. I'm guessing, I'm guessing. Okay, and uh, now we can uh, jackknife a little better. And we're even going to use a little bit of this uh, area over here on the left when it comes to chasing. Because this is basically what they've done. All right. Just that little bit of room there has, ma has made it a lot easier. And of course, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to stop here. Because I don't, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to do a little pull forward. Go off to the right. Okay, a much better position. That's if I go, sorry, I, I'm kind of aiming for the, the hardest dock. All right, and if there was a truck there, we just straight up have to blindside it, uh, and that sucks. Blindsiding is, I, I don't, I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm even good at blindsiding. I have many times, and I've just embarrassed myself. Well, is it embarrassing getting out and looking 400 times? Just to make sure I don't hit something? But yeah, anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate the park up next to, uh, next to this guy over here. So the setup, all you have to do is just basically, you know, there you go. That's all you need. All right. And then you just back up. All right. Do whatever you need to do. You can do a straight back, angle back. You know what I mean? You just like, I'm maintaining a little bit of an angle going on right here. And yeah. Okay. Now I need a harder jackknife. It looks like, oh, I'm dipping into there. I'm making a fool of myself. Oh, and, and there's some parked vehicles. Some, uh, some landscaping going on, it looks like. But whatever. Uh, it's, it's much easier. I'm kind of embarrassing myself now. <laughs> Crap. Um, but, oh, damn, I got to make sure that steering wheel is pointing straight before I take off. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again now. Let's try that again. I, I wasn't I wasn't as close to that truck as I would I would like to have been. You got to make sure you're close to those trucks. Because the closer you are to them, the further away you are from everything else. So that means you're close to something that you can see. And uh, if you're far away from something that you can see, that means you're too close to something that you can't see. So there is that. All right. And all right, we're in. Make, so kind of making a fool of myself. I'm kind of rushing through this, to be honest with you. Started off kind of cocky. See, I'm more used to the European trucks because that's the game that I've been dealing with for the last uh, year is basically, you know, testing that out and making the levels and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and just see how the European style truck would do on this particular level. Now, I am sorry that you guys are not able to do this. Only I can do this or my developer. It's just that my original developer, he didn't make it that you could do this. So I wasn't able to change it. So this is so you are not able to switch back and forth, but you can download the game uh, again. I, there is a European version of the game and it's called my European truck skills or my European trucking skills. And uh, so, yeah, you should you should download that if you want to actually have all the trucks be European. All right. It's just that it took so long because the levels took forever to convert. Uh, as a, yeah. So, again, European style is much easier on the bigger levels, not so much on the smaller levels that they would get normally on, on, on an everyday basis. Like, let's go ahead and compare. Let's drive over to this truck over here and compare the sizes. Now these are to scale, everything is to scale. Axles are in the exact same position as they would be. All the docks are, that's what this, this, that's what this measuring thing is here. Basically um, the red ones are, that's uh, meters. Uh, so that would be 10 meters, 20 meters. All right. Again, 100 feet all the way over here. But anyway, so that's just uh, so let's go ahead and back up next to this guy. All right. Now, if you're driving in England or Ireland or Australia or anywhere that drives on the right hand side of the road, this would be a side side. All right. So I do find that the, the European trucks are much able, able, sorry, much easier to maneuver because of the short wheelbase. All right, the shorter the wheelbase, the quicker you can. Now, so let's look at the size of that. That basically is the same size as the trailer. 
All right. Now, uh, I've never driven in one in real life. All right. But I've had people who have driven them and I've used them as testers. And they said, yep, everything seems to be just fine. Everything's just working. Everything is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. But anyway, uh, so that's this level. My again, so if you are going to be, I'm sorry that, that you're not able to switch back and forth. My bad. Um, but anyway, the next 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 game, I can game number, number three uh, will be a complete multiplayer game. And you've got to pick and choose and everything. And it's going to be fantastic because I got a new fantastic developer. Well, I wouldn't say new, but you know he's been with me for a while, but he's not the first guy. Uh, again, without the first guy, you wouldn't have the, you wouldn't have uh, the first game. Anyway, uh, yes, it's a tough level. It sucks. Uh, I'll throw it into the game eventually. Uh, I'll have to like redesign it again. Obviously, these are not real. This is just uh, this is just an image. All right. Whoops. See, you got to worry worry for that. Oh, you got to worry about the, uh, the swing of the trailer. Um, yeah. So uh, so yeah, I'm able to easily easily create these levels with just a picture. That. I'm sorry that you guys can't just throw in a picture and do it yourselves. It's not uh, it's not that easy. But anyway, cool. All right, later. Download the game. My trucking skills. Or actually, I think I've called it my US trucking skills now because we have um, my European trucking skills. <laughs> later. Bye-bye.